Hello, everyone. Welcome back for more Super Castlevania 4. And we're doing level 4 today. My favorite level in the entire game. And you'll be seeing why when we get to that point. I mean, this part, just the beginning, is pretty awesome because you got this really sweet music going on in the background. And then in it, to add to that, you got really neat or really nice looking colors and pretty interesting design to start off the level, but it gets better. Yes, yes, it does get better, if you can believe it. Alright, so here was just a more uh, platform testing, and this part sucks. Jump, jump, jump. If you don't jump fast enough, you fall into the pit of hell of death. Yep. Anyways, yesterday uh, I was watching... Uh, oops, wrong way. I was watching uh, something I haven't seen in a long time, and that's the NBA playoffs, or just the NBA in general. And I know there's not a lot of, probably not a lot of sports fans that watch me here on YouTube, but uh, I decided to bring it up because I used to be a big basketball fan, and uh, the NBA just really changed in general, and, oh, uh, well... Let's kill this boss first. Shoot your bo Shoot everything! Shoot it all! Shoot it all! There, he's dead. But yeah, the NBA's changed a lot, you know? It used to be a half-court game, it used to be more interesting matchups one-on-one, -on -one, and now it's just like a full-court game, but... Uh, the reason I was watching it is because LeBron James, all this talk about him going to New York, and a better chance of, of him going to New York if the Knicks, I mean, if uh, Cleveland goes out early in the playoffs, so, yesterday they got their asses handed to them and lost by like 30 points or something crazy like that. Does that mean that he's coming to New York? No. But does it increase his chances? Probably. Anyways, this is one of my favorite parts of the level here. Because of the cool rotating effect you just saw. And you gotta remember, at the time when this game was released... Nothing like that was ever, nothing like this was ever done before. I mean, this is the first time I've ever seen the physical manipulation of pixels like this. And I just thought the effect at the time was so amazing, you know. That's kind of why I got into, uh, for those of you that don't know, I majored in computer science in uh, college. And that's kind of what got me into it, you know, seeing stuff like this. I was always curious, how the hell did they program that? How do they do that? That's awesome. So I've always had an uh, interest in it, and, you know, games like this is really what what got me into those things. Now hopefully I can get a job one of these days to support my major, but whatever, that's a whole uh, different story right now because of our lovely economy. Anyways, this part of the game is really sweet as well, and I remember the first time doing this I was actually terrified because... I see the blocks, I see the blocks incinerating. Ah! It's like they're waiting for me to jump. Oh, come on! It's like, you see the blocks incinerating behind me. I used to think it was a race that if I didn't hurry up, that, uh... That I would die from falling, or the blocks would just fall beneath me. But that wasn't the case, of course, and we head on. Alright, this part is, off, is fun as hell as well. Very creative. I gotta give Konami uh, team credit because... For the time... Uh, come on! Get up there! Get up there! Oh my lord. There you go. Yeah, I gotta give him credit because for the time, you know, this is a pretty unique design for a level. It's... They went all out. We're like, you know what, let's just go crazy. Alright, that's dead. And now here, we just head across, and we're gonna take a shortcut. A lot of people don't know about this shortcut, that's why I'm showing it to you. Basically, you go here, you squeeze against there, and you go. And that takes you to the next area. You can also go the normal way, which is going up, but I don't have patience for that right now. Alright, and over here... Man, that's scary. Oh my god, the spikes are gonna kill me! No, they're not. Looked like they were, though. Alright, and great. We lost our boomerang because I picked up the stupid axe sub weapon by accident. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Two, three. One thing.
thing I like a lot about this game, too, is how long the whip is. They give you really a lot of flexibility with the whip in this game, because it just... I feel like it reaches, like, all the way across. It's freaking awesome. Alright, and this takes us to the boss of the stage. And... This boss can suck. But much like every a lot of other, uh bosses in the game, you just gotta keep throwing your axe. Ah. Keep swinging, we'll get him. It's taking me a little no longer than normal here. There you go, we got him. And that completes stage four. Yay! Oh, man. And we're heading to the castle entrance. That is the next level, and this level's very strange because of how short it is. I mean, this is probably... Not even probably, this is definitely a very strange level, kind of just... Not, I don't want to say bad design, but kind of like all over the place, like almost, almost like they didn't have a clear structure for this level when this when they came out or when they built it, and it's kind of all over the place, which you'll see here. Pretty cool though. You have the the classical uh, monkeys, those things, which are pretty easy in this Castlevania. Pain in the ass in the. In the other Castlevania, especially uh, Castlevania 3. Ugh. <laughs> oh, memories, memories. So, I guess that's the other positive of this game. They they uh, took some of the things that you hated about oh boy, previous Castlevanias and improved on it. Made it easier. Made it likable, almost. Monk. Ah, they still jump like monkeys and hurt you, but can't complain too much. They're not as bad as the other Castlevanias. Alright. So that takes us to this next little area here. Alright. And like I said, now you see why I said this is a very weird design for the level. Die. It's just strange. It's not... It doesn't make sense. You go from the outdoors to the indoors with, like, vines moving. It's strange. Anyways, I guess it sets off, it kind of sets up the mood, the ominous mood for what's up ahead. Weird. But yeah. Ooh, scary. Yep, level's that fast. And that takes us to the first castle stage. There's like five of them. And, oof. I tell ya, right now, um... Out of all of them, I think this is one of the ones I I cringe at the most because I always got I always had more trouble with this stage for whatever reason than any other one of these castle stages. I don't know, maybe it's all these because of these enemies regenerate, but I always had quite a quite a hard time with it. Let's right, see how fast we can make it through these things. Ah, you punk. There you go. Ah, getting owned. I need health. So as you can see, I'm already at like half health. Those things really tear you up. I, I like those things though. They're uh, you recognize them from a lot of from a lot of Castlevanias. One of the most popular enemies. All right, now this part. Ah, oh, Lord. Oh boy, I almost fell off. Now this part sucks because you gotta be really good at this. This platforming. Alright. Now this wouldn't be so bad if your forward momentum carried you. But I'm gonna be very cautious here because I am not good at jumping these chandeliers at all. Oh, see? Look at that. My forward momentum almost killed me there. It's insane. Whew, I'm getting nervous. 
I really don't want to die here, because if you die, they start you at the beginning of the level. Oh, boy. Look, we can make it. We can make it. Ah! Alright. Collect some of the nice little things along the way. And... Oh, my God. I thought I was going to die again. I am not taking a risk here. Ugh. And they put this for laughs just in case I didn't get enough of it last time. Come on. It's like it sounds like my door creaking when I open it. Anyways, guys, we're all out of oh, we're all out of time for this episode. Uh, we'll have to continue it next time. Later, everybody.